So the Bungle Bungles, my God. Um, worth every cent, and it was a lot of cents spent. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing. And one of the things that I found incredible, really, is um, I didn't uh, didn't say this in the last video, but um, Bernie, our bus driver and tour guide, uh, was telling us that the place was only discovered um, in a European context, I guess, in 1983, which, you know, for me is very contemporary. I, I was uh, a people teenager um, back in 83. And, yeah, so to, to come across an area that uh, is relatively new in this modern Australian context um, just just sort of blew me away a little bit. But, um, yeah, it was everything that I'd hoped it would be. But it's it's a premium, folks, so just be prepared. So the next part of this journey is to get along to Horse Creek and work out whether I want to go to Wolf Creek Crater or not. Um, I did have some problems with the bike in the um, drivetrain department before I left, i.e. it completely failed. Uh, and the BMW dealership in Adelaide were just fabulous. They they had that bike repaired and turned around, under, all under warranty, within a matter of days. However, that event is now still playing in my head, and I've got 300 k's of dirt road. I don't know how good it is, I don't know how bad it is, and I'm not too sure whether I really want to risk it, because the trip's been going really, really well since Cairns. Um, after such a, a really bad start with me catching COVID and a couple of other little, little things, including a niggle with the bike. So I'm starting to think that this Wolf Creek crater thing could be something that I could schedule to do another trip to where, you know, I'm properly kitted out for it. I can, you know, get there, camp there. Um, I don't have hard panniers. So that if I come off, you know, it's, it's, you're not risking a broken leg, you're risk, risking a sprained ankle, the difference between hard panniers and soft panniers. And yeah, and just continuing on this journey with that mindset that this is a road trip, haven't seen this part of the country before, and so everything's new. Everything's new and everything's still pretty exciting. So yeah, just really juggling that in my head. But I've got 24 hours to think it through, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take the time, just see how I feel in the morning whether I want to do it or not. In the meantime, it's getting along to Halls Creek and doing a spot of geocaching. A few moments later. On another issue <laughs> that um, when I was pulling this uh, vid together, just overheard myself saying in this part of the vid, um, I've made mention of um, wondering whether the bike will start again. So um, the bike is less than three years old. As I said, still on warranty, but uh, since Darwin, there have been occasional slow starts. When I say slow starts, that um, the battery has had trouble turning the engine over. So this is also playing in my head. I'd actually forgotten about it um, before <laughs> in the time between being here and and doing and pulling this video together. So. Yeah, there's just a few things that are, that are not lining up well, and and it's all playing my head. And because, as I said, I had such a uh, a stop start um, commencement of this journey, and including all of the stuff with the drive chain, sorry, drive train <laughs> uh, beforehand. Just yeah, I'm I'm really. <laughs> Do I want to do this? It's just, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do this geocache now and then get back on the road. So I'm heading off and I've just come across this little uh, sign here uh, about a little guy called Lester. And um, he was a, a local lad home from holidays and tragically died here in a single car accident and his parents and friends have put up this memorial to him. And I took the time just to stop because it was, you know, it's unusual. Uh, so I stopped and, and read it and it's, it's a lovely story and, and uh, young Lester seemed to be, from all accounts, um, very loved and uh, quite a, 
uh, quite a, an insightful chap for a, the tender age of 13 when he passed away. Um, but one of his little quirks, and I guess we all have them, uh, but one of his little quirks is he, he liked to um, go searching for five cent pieces in, in odd places. Uh, it says so in the, in the blurb. I'll, I'll put a still up so you can read it for yourself. But, um, and so what people have been doing is putting five cent pieces up on the sign here as a tribute to this uh, remarkable young, young man who was taken from us and taken from his parents far too soon. Thank you.
So we're just having a look at the Great Wall of China and it is, it's over there. Go to Ballarat, you see stuff like that all over the place, Ballarat, Bendigo, uh, all through that sort of gold rush area. Um, you see little lines of that everywhere. When I was orienteering as a kid, they were just everywhere, along with all of the, <laughs> all of the evidence of uh, gold mining there. So yeah, interesting. Doesn't seem to be like a lot of it. Um, but it was enough to start a rush and it was enough to get Europeans up here in the late 1800s when there was no other earthly reason to be here So, if you haven't worked out by now, I didn't go to Wolf Creek Crater, I did wake up the next day and had a look at the weather report and yeah, talked myself out of it, So, which is a bit of a shame, however, um, I'm already starting to plot how I'm going to get back there um, and the trip looks pretty cool actually, the idea would be to um, go off and do some more training, uh, on, in, particularly in sand. So I'm looking at some BMW training later in the year, and then uh, heading out along the Data Track to Mount Dare, Mount Dare to I don't know, along the Fink um, to Alice Springs, and then Alice Springs up through the Tanami to uh, Wolf Creek Crater. Um, I've just got to find someone who will come with me because I don't want to do it by myself. I don't think, don't think my wife would let me unless I actually had someone else with me as well so there's that to consider but uh, I spent most of the day doing vids and then late in the afternoon I just popped out to see the Great Wall of China and had a sort of general look around and that was about it um, so unfinished business at Horse Creek for me